Uh, it's been a few years since the last time I visited here, and uh, uh, so, uh, and, uh, uh, so uh, if you look at the schedule, uh, I named uh, uh, John Shi Junchen. John was my English name. Yeah, it is my English name. Okay, so, uh, and uh, uh, so uh, my topic is uh, uh, is about the uh, the, the soliton. Uh, waves. It exists in the soliton waves, and uh, it's a it's a dynamics. Yeah, it's stability. So, uh, and uh, th this topic uh, is uh, compared to the wavelet theory, maybe a little older because it's uh, still in the last uh, century. Yeah, but uh, uh, I'm trying to see. Uh, maybe people are wondering what's going on with this uh, 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 traditional topic. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's see. Uh, Okay, it's here. Uh, so, uh, so uh, let us see a, a, a general picture about uh, what's going on in, in this area. Uh, so, uh, the, 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 the topic is about the stability problem for ground state, and uh, let's the uh, minimizer of the, the nonlinear functional for the Hamiltonian associated with a certain uh, Schrodinger equation. And uh, also the excited states uh, that uh, uh, these two both are actually the, the eigenfunctions of the nonlinear problem. Uh, and especially uh, recently, people are interested in, in the study the, the vertex type uh, soliton. So this soliton is uh, not, not really uh, symmetric. They, they, they actually they, they have some other symmetry, yeah, uh, which, which is related to the, the, the bigger problem. Uh, about the uniqueness of the uh, soliton solutions, and which is still open. Yeah, that's, that's uh, still open for uh, uh, a few decades. Uh, yeah, and uh, so uh, in the, our uh, method and tool uh, came from harmonic analysis. Yeah, because I'm, uh, I'm I'm a harmonic analyst. Yeah, uh, who work on the PD. So we use some uh, uh, tools from PD. Like, uh, from both oscillatory integrals, uh, semi-classical and micro-local analysis, uh, inverse scattering, uh, and so on. Yeah, uh, and uh, uh, so the the type of equation we're looking at uh, they they came from quantum uh, physics. Uh, for example, the Bose-Einstein condensation. Uh, also, uh, since this one is is a super fluid, so they also relate to the uh, hydro uh, uh, dynamics and, uh, and they also uh, there's a really similar problem in a smaller scale uh, on a larger scale and a smaller scale on uh, Boston stars okay so um, and so here here's the equation uh, we are looking at uh, let's see uh, this is the one okay <laughs> uh, so yeah so this is the equation. Uh, uh, this is the Laplacian. Uh, uh, this is the derivative in T, uh, and uh, uh, and the V is the uh, harmonic uh, uh, trapping potential. Yeah, and uh, uh, so so you you can trap those particles in a, tra a magnetic trap. So so you can actually observe the uh, the uh, the condensate. And this is the nonlinear term. Uh, they came from uh, the interaction between the particles. So this is not external. Uh, they came from the interaction between uh, particles. Yeah. So the, the potential is external. We can we can uh, we can pull there uh, using the laser beams. And uh, uh, this this part is the angular momentum. Uh, what this term does is uh, so we, we have a uh, uh, we have a given direction uh, omega, so uh, so like this. So this is omega in R three, uh, which is given, and uh, uh, so this term does is uh, uh, you you look at the uh, uh, you 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 look at the rotation about the uh, axis at, uh, using this as a center, right? So therefore, omega is the center of the <coughs> The rotating axis, and when you have a function u equal to uh, u of t x, and what this does, you, they make a rotation about this uh, axis. Yeah, so this this is the uh, 
uh, this came from the angular momentum energy. Uh, so, and uh, yeah, this is kinetical. So ba basically, this one can be uh, regarded as the, uh, the, the quantum mechanical version of the Newton's law, yeah. Uh, okay, so, uh, so again, again, this is the harmonic potential, what does this look like? Uh, so, and let's see. Uh, Lambda is a constant, yeah. And this is the one I just explained there, yeah. Uh, all right, and the, 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 uh, the, the suitable space uh, for this uh, uh, system is, uh, is the, uh, we call the uh, weighted uh, Sobolev space. Yeah. Actually, uh, in this uh, talk, I'm only going to use the case one S equal to one, yeah, so H1. So uh, basically it says that the, the gradient of f is in L2, but also we require that uh, you multiply by the weight x, uh, this will belong to L2, right? Yeah, so therefore it's a weighted uh, Sobolev space, it's a subspace of Sobolev space. So that's the appropriate space uh, that to uh, uh, use uh, with this, yeah, working with this uh, system. All right, okay, so, uh, uh, so this system is is generated by the uh, the Hamiltonian. Yeah, Hamiltonian is the is the a quantity that is conserved for all time, and uh, so 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 uh, yeah. So therefore, therefore you look at here. Uh, this one is the the linear part uh, defined by this linear operator, and this is the nonlinear part, uh, which is the, which look like this. Yeah, and so, so this part is conserved for all time. And uh, in a sense, if you take a derivative in time, you get zero. Yeah. And uh, so, so, so whenever you have a conserved quantity, we can use this uh, uh, formulation to uh, generate a uh, Hamiltonian PDE. Yeah, so this is, uh, so th this is just a, 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 a version of the previous one. They are, they are equivalent. Okay, so, uh, and our our major concern is is uh, to uh, find a, a, a sharp condition. Yeah. So we find a threshold uh, on the uh, stability of the the first equation, and that's uh, mo modeling the uh, B C uh, with rotation. Yeah. And because physics, they do a lot of experiment with that. And uh, uh, in the in the mass critical and the super critical regime, yeah, uh, that's this yeah nonlinearity here. One the initial data is uh, near the ground state, so we need to find the ground state because this is the one uh, that uh, tell us about the threshold, yeah. And of course we 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 conjecture that's the threshold, but we still have to find it. We have to construct it. We have to prove it. And uh, uh, so there are some of the uh, questions related to here is the orbital stability, and uh, uh, which I'm going to explain uh, in a later half. And uh, so we have to construct a, a, a critical example to show this ground state is the, uh, the threshold. If it's below it, we have global existence. Otherwise, we may have a wave collapse or blow up result. Yeah. Uh, so this is about the long time uh, stability. So this is also one of the few bigger conjecture. Yeah, still uh, remain open. Uh, and if your initial data is very large, and uh, how we understand the asymptotic, yeah, the dynamics, and so on. Uh, so it, it turns out that uh, 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 all the above, they, uh, they rely on the understanding the spectral property for the linear operator and the nonlinear operator. Yeah. So, so, uh, so. So it's related to this uh, spectral problem. And uh, uh, so let's uh, look at the linear, linear case. So uh, if, if we, have, we take this uh, Laplacian potential and the, the angular momentum, uh, and in the case when these two guys are the same, right? In this, when the, when the frequency, uh, so this is like the magnitude of the vector omega. So when the frequency is the same as a, Gamma, gamma is a trapping potential for V, yeah. So uh, remember that V equal to half of uh, gamma square times uh, the uh, modular, the square of the module of X, right? Yeah, so gamma is that trapping potential. And this is the put, uh, frequency for the rotation part. This one is for the trapping part. 
So, so uh, in this case, we, we do understand something. Uh, when, when the n is even, the even dimension, the, the spectrum is a purely point. Uh, they, 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 uh, they look like a Hermeter, yeah, Hermeter operator spectrum. Uh, each eigenvalue has an infinity multiplicity. And this is the difference than the Hermeter case. Because the Hermeter case, we only have finite dimension yeah, uh, for the icon space. But uh, in this case, they have infinite dimension. Uh, when n is odd, uh, we don't uh, know the whole uh, spectrum. Uh, but, uh, it, uh, but we do know that uh, the spectrum is uh, positive. Uh, and uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 uh, also the spectrum is absolutely continuous. So, so in, in all the dimension, uh, the, uh, the disc discrete uh, spectrum that uh, uh, we expect they, they, are, they, they are not there, yeah. We don't have any point uh, spectrum when, when n is odd, yeah. So this little uh, mystery here. And uh, so, uh, okay, so, uh, we, yeah, I started to consider this uh, uh, in 2009. Uh, so uh, about, yeah, about this spectrum. But so far we only get the answer for the even dimension. Uh, all right, so. Okay, so uh, so here is the one. Uh, it's a uh, it's a little deeper, but eventually we we found that uh, the the, uh, the shorting equation, uh, the the Hamiltonian system uh, depends on the uncertainty principle. Yeah, and uh, uh, I remember I I learned the uncertain certain principle first from from my advisor John. Yeah, so it basically says that if you have a uh, gradient and the position vector, they, they don't commute. Yeah, they don't commute. Uh, this this uh, commute commuted is not zero. Then we, we, we're going to have uncertainty principle. And in a sense that uh, the, uh, the variance of the position and the variance of the momentum is going to be greater than a constant. Yeah, but H is the Planck, yeah, Planck constant. Uh, actually, it's Planck constant divided by two pi. Yeah, so, but that, that's basically this came from, and uh, so we can we can use very uh, elementary uh, uh, calculus to uh, to to show that the, the minimal the minimal energy uh, of this uh, function is uh, is attained by a positive number, right? So that's a point. So this is a positive number. And uh, uh, which uh, shows the uh, existence of the uh, ground state. Yeah, ground state in physics it means uh, a lot. Of, a lot of term means that, okay, it's, uh, it's the lowest. Uh, is the state that allows to reach lowest uh, energy. Yeah. So the that energy, of course, is not going to be zero. Yeah. So therefore, so it's not zero. So it shows the existence. Uh, and also uh, later we can also see the, this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, simple formulation from the uncertain principle also can uh, allow us to prove the, uh, the blow up result too, yeah. So, um, but, but here the proof I, I, I gave is more like a uh, one page in, in a physic, physics proof, yeah. Uh, okay, so, uh, so just briefly, uh, uh, Show some uh, picture from Bosch Einstein uh, condensate. This, this is the background. So uh, the here, when the temperature getting uh, the, the lower, uh, getting lower, close to zero degree, uh, actually, uh, I mean zero Kelvin degree. So uh, we can observe the uh, the state reach a, a equilibrium position, which is the ground state. Yeah, uh, but otherwise they are going to high temperature, they're going to moving fast, and uh, you couldn't uh, yeah, capture that. But uh, when, when you have lower temperature, we can, we can observe that. And uh, so uh, let's see. Yeah, so OK, this is a shorting equation uh, modeling that. And, uh, and uh, the, the BC is uh, superfluids. So therefore, they related to the, uh, the fluids, yeah, uh, like oil equation, yeah. And uh, the background came from plasma and fluids, so so on. So this is just the just the 
uh, background give us a reason to study this model. Uh, so this is more yeah, uh, evidence coming from the physics. So this is the, uh, a photo taken from experimental physics. So, uh, and uh, uh, the experiment is, a, is, a, is, a, uh, is done with uh, half a million, half a million particles, yeah. And uh, uh, let's see, uh, this is a laser, yeah, laser beam that can find it. So that's, that play the role of the potential V. Uh, this is a spectral, yeah, of that condensate, so. And the, the, this has a lot of applications for BEC, for people who uh, heard a little about uh, the uh, BEC, uh, so, because they, for example, they, they help us with the censoring and the levigation and the atomic clock. Uh, this might still uh, open in physics and the quantum computing, yeah. And uh, let's see, okay, so, yeah, so by the way, this is a result uh, It came from the experiment uh, computational physics uh, from uh, one of my collaborators uh, in Georgia Southern in physics. He's a physicist. But he worked with the, uh, the Joint Quantum Institute at Maryland, yeah, and also NIST. So let's see. Okay, so uh, we also can formulate this uh, equation uh, to the n dimension. Uh, so the, pre the pre previous little one we saw in the in, in one uh, in three dimension, yeah, this is the n dimension extension, and where you can uh, rewrite them as a magnetic form, yeah. Uh, so there's a there's a, some simple relation between this equation and the, the first equation, yeah. Uh, sometimes this form has a little convenience to do it. So uh, let's see. Okay, so uh, the, the the first result we're going to see is a called threshold condition for global well postness. And the blob. So this one tells that when n is the two and three dimension, initial data is the weighted sublet space. Uh, then, uh, then if the initial data whose L two long, so this is like uh, the the mass of the initial data. Yeah, the mass of the initial data is is below the ground state. Uh, then there exists a global time solution. Yeah, and. Uh, if uh, the initial data is uh, uh, greater or equal to the L2 norm of Q, so uh, the mass is larger, then uh, we, can, we can see that uh, there are uh, finite blow-up uh, solutions. Yeah. Uh, there, some, there, there exist, yeah, there, in this case, there exist some uh, initial data. For example, we take initial data like this, uh, that they can lead to a finite blow-up, yeah. So this is the, <coughs> Uh, sharp condition we we were looking for, yeah, and uh, and, uh, and uh, Q actually is a solution of this one. Actually, we can solve this explicitly. Uh, let me see. Yeah, we we actually you, you can find a solution. Uh, yeah, explicit. They, they have a decay or uh, polynomial decay, uh, uh, exponential decay, uh, but not the Gaussian decay. Yeah, so you can. Uh, let's see. Okay, so. Uh, the proof of this, uh, briefly, uh, is the idea we look at this uh, uh, second moment of the uh, solution. Yeah, U is the solution, so we look at the second moment. And we take the second order derivative of uh, uh, this function, because U is a function of T, right? Yeah, so to take the second order derivative, we want to show that uh, uh, the I uh, double prime uh, is negative. So if the I double prime is negative, they, they can keep down. So it can be done. So at a certain point, at a certain point, say so even even you start with a positive uh, i, and uh, it can keep down. At a certain point, it's going to hit the zero. I t uh, star reach zero, right? Yeah. Or at at least approaching to zero. But if you look at this uh, uh, uncertain principle, this guy is conserved in mass. That's conservation law. So regardless of the t, this is the same as your initial mass. That's a constant. And uh, that, too, depends on the t. We, we have no idea what they are. But, uh, but this guy will be approaching to 0 right? at a certain point. So they are approaching 0 at a certain point. 
So if this guy is approaching zero, that forces the other term, the kinetic energy is approaching to infinity, right? Because that's how you, how you balance this uncertain principle. So, so this guy, this term approaches zero, cause this uh, factor approaching to infinity. And then once this approaching infinity, for certain t, then we have the uh, blow up result, right? Yeah, so you're not gonna have global existence. Yeah, so that's basically the idea. And, uh, but they, they depends on uncertain principle. Okay, so, uh, all right, so, uh, trying to see, I think, I think I might still have maybe five minutes, yeah. Three minutes, uh, okay, four minutes, okay, thanks, yeah. So, uh, so uh, I tried to uh, go through a little uh, further on the uh, vertex equ uh, equation. Oh, okay, so let's see. Uh, I guess this is the one I want to look at. Yeah, so uh, uh, we wanted to show how we uh, construct the vertex equation uh, for this uh, uh, model. And uh, this type of equation, they are not unique, yeah. Uh, uh, uniquely is probably still open, and, uh, uh, but uh, the general conjecture is they are not unique, yeah. But we're trying to construct a uh, certain type of uh, vertex solution from that elliptic problem. Uh, so, okay, so uh, let's see. Yeah, so here we look at the energy. The energy is uh, the sum of the linear part and the, the nonlinear part, and the total is uh, is the energy that we defined earlier. And then we have a constraint uh, uh, consideration. Uh, when you restrict uh, the U, uh, you take it from this uh, subject space and uh, you look at uh, sub-manifolds, right? So you take a look at sub-manifolds, uh, which has constant mass. Yeah. So if we restrict that, there's a, there's a minimizer on this sub-manifold of H1. And, and so if we can find a, a, a U, satisfy the, the energy is minimized, right? It's minimized. Then such U will be the uh, ground state. That's what we call ground state, yeah. And, and this one is uh, uh, the orb orbital sta uh, stable if given uh, any phi in the ground state set and such that uh, when initially, initially uh, uh, the data is close to the ground state and then uh, then it will stay close to that ground state for all time. Yeah, so basically what this says, yeah. And, uh, okay, so, so here, here is the, is the uh, result uh, that uh, we recently working with uh, my colleague and uh, some of my, uh, my students, uh, Lila, uh, Haishen, uh, Ihu, and uh, Christopher, yeah. And uh, so, uh, they basically summarize our recent uh, work about two or three, and uh, it basically says that uh, uh, in two dimension, uh, one the uh, the rotating frequency is uh, less than the trapping frequency. So in that case, uh, uh, the solution uh, exists, and also when the, the 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 mass is less than the L two norm of this, the mass is L two norm of uh, of u, u zero. So there exists a solution, uh, the minimize of the energy to the problem, this the uh, minimization problem, uh, called ground state, setting phi that uh, this elliptical yeah, problem. Yeah. So this is actually the, the Euler, like Lange formulation. And uh, moreover, the set of um, minimizers, the ground state in this case, uh, there, are, there are many of them, right? They stay on this uh, towers. There are many of them, and uh, but uh, but uh, but this uh, this uh, orbits uh, uh, they are orbital stable. Yeah. So uh, again, orbital stable means that if we have uh, uh, if we have a ground state here, it is a sub manifold, and if if you initially you stay with this, and uh, uh, the the whole solution all time is going to close to this. Uh, uh, Orbit uh, forever, yeah. This ground state set forever. So this is basically what this says. They are not going to uh, keep a distance, right? So this is basically what this says. Uh, I still actually have some uh, uh, 
counter example, yeah, uh, for the sharpness of this one. Uh, and uh, in two and three dimension, and uh, so, but, but uh, however, uh, yeah, my time is, uh, is here, so uh, I would, I'll just stop here.